In this video, we're going to show you how to schedule a patient and conduct a full arterial study using the provocative functional maneuvering, or the heel raises. To start, we will create our patient PadNet PadNet the same way as we've created all other patients. From here, we'll go ahead and schedule an arterial study. This will be the first point of change between the standard arterial study and the provocative functional maneuvering version of the arterial study. Your ICD-10 codes will be entered the same way as before, but our procedure code will be different. If you're on our latest software, go ahead and select 93923. But if not, we're going to need to scroll up. Instead of selecting 93923, we'll go ahead and select Screening. This will allow us to submit and conduct a version of the test without including the ABIs. Don't worry, we'll still be able to bill it as a 93923. We'll just have to schedule it as a screening. Our history, conditions, medications, etc. box, our report notes box, and our vascular procedure section are all the same as before. Now you'll notice here, because we selected screening in the procedure code, none of our test segments are selected, so we're going to select PVR in the right ankle and the left ankle. If your office is interested in also including the ABIs, you can scroll up and add the appropriate blood pressure test segments. But for our intents and purposes, we are just going to leave it with the PVRs in both ankles. If you selected 93923, you can go ahead and deselect all other segments, leaving behind just PVR in the right and left ankle. Of course, you add height and weight, as you did before, over on the right-hand side. Now that we have our test scheduled for PadNet PadNet, Again, we'll notice that it's scheduled as a screening, even though we will ultimately bill it as a 93923. We can go ahead and move to our testing website and log in with the same credentials as before. Once we accept our terms, we'll go into our scheduled patients tab and find our patient PadNet PadNet. They'll be notated by their first initial, the first three letters of their last name, their year of birth, their PIN number, and the type of test. Now, before we click on their name, we want to make sure the cuffs are on, because clicking on their name will calibrate the pressure sensor, and we want to wait until the patient is ready to go. So, using our two ankle cuffs, we're going to secure them onto our patient's left and right ankles. Again, we want to make sure that the bladder is on the inside so that we can see the Biomedics logo on the outside we want to make sure they're on tight enough. And lastly, we want to make sure that the orange hoses are easily accessible. So we'll move those to the outside and double check the security of our cuffs. A reminder that cuffs should be on tight enough that one cannot comfortably fit two fingers between the cuff and the skin. Also, if the small orange hoses on the cuffs are interfering during the heel lifts, you can place the cuffs on upside down so that they're facing towards the head and not the feet. Now that our patient is ready to go, we can click on the name and it'll begin calibrating the pressure sensor. I recommend that this is when you have your patient conduct their 30 heel raises. In order to do the provocative function of maneuvering, you'll have your patient stand up or remain seated. And they'll begin to do 30 reps of heel raises, making sure that their heels are lifted as high off the ground as possible and making sure that we're exercising those muscles. They can do 30 or until claudication pain occurs. Once the patient has done their reps, we want to put them in a reclined state and using the gray hose, we're gonna hook them up to the right ankle cuff. Once our patient is hooked up to the cuff, we wanna begin our PVR studies right away. We're gonna start with the PVR on the right ankle and to do our PVR, we're gonna scroll down and click the start button. Our cuff is going to inflate to a pressure roughly between 65 and 75 millimeters of mercury. This is a pressure where it can comfortably sense and precisely sense the volume of blood entering the vessels without constricting blood flow. Once our cuff is done inflating, it's gonna begin capturing the volume. For a solid PVR interpretation, we want at least three waves that look near identical to each other. I like to let the test run a little bit longer because we can always go back. Once we're happy with our segment, we can go ahead and click Next Segment. Now that we're on the left ankle, we'll move our gray extension hose 
from the right cuff to the left ankle cuff. From here, we'll conduct our second PVR study on the left ankle in the exact same manner as we did before. Again, we scroll down, we'll click start, we'll let the cuff inflate, it'll hover around that range, and once it finds a happy pressure where it can get an accurate reading of the volume of blood, it'll begin plotting on the graph. Again, we'll let the waves stabilize as you see that they as a whole begin to rise and fall over the span of the graph. Once they've centered and once we get our consistent waves, we can go ahead and click stop, look at our amplitude lines, make sure we're happy, and we'll click next segment. If you wish to conduct the blood pressure segments, now would be the time that you do so. But all we need are our two ankle PVRs. Once we're done, we click next, we make sure that all of our test segments are accurate, we check our gains to make sure they're the same, and we check to make sure that we can see the entirety of our wave graph. Now here is what's really important. We want to make sure that we notate that our patient did 30 heel raises, because this is how we can still bill it as a 93923. I also like to include a note saying bill as 93923 in case your office does any other screenings. It'll allow you to easily distinguish the provocative functional maneuvering tests from your screenings. Once there, you click Save, and the green Success button appears. From there, you will submit the test just as you have before. If you forget to write the Notes section, you can easily go ahead in the scheduling website and amend the Notes section before you click Approve and Submit. And that is how you schedule and conduct a full arterial study using the provocative functional maneuvering or the heel raises.